Alright guys, today I wanted to make another video looking at uh, the next generation of footballer. Um, so today I have picked Johan Lepanon. I'm sure that's how you say it in French or in a French accent or whatever. Um, but yeah, so he is a midfielder for Sayen in the sec uh, French second division League 2 and uh, also plays for the France under-20s team uh, currently. Um, and he, his position in midfield is like uh, either a 6 or an 8. More recently for Sayan, he's played as an 8. But uh, one of his um, characteristics is that he very often drops into a uh, number 6 role and um, so, sort of like... In, in a similar way that Thiago Alcantara does for Liverpool, likes to spray passes um, out, out wide or forwards, just like likes to dictate play. Very, very good passer of the ball and plays the game at a very high tempo. Um, and yeah, he, he can play the number six role as well because he is a very, like, he's, he's a very aggressive player as well in fact he, he at times he can be too, too aggressive also very athletic but he doesn't quite have the strength um, of like a Wilfred indeed or Fabinho for like a, a, what you expect from a number six he is uh, very quick though like in, in terms of that side of athletic is what, what I'm getting at really also very hard working um, and yeah, he, he has also had a lot of success with uh, French youth teams in the Under-17 World Cup in 2019. Um, he helped France reach uh, the semi-final. Um, unfortunately, they couldn't quite make the final, but uh, he, he definitely had a good tournament for them. And even this season for Sayan, he's uh, played 37 out of their 38 league games. So, like, for someone who is only 19 years of age, that is uh, incredible consistency um, and, and an incredible fitness record for that age. Like, um, not, not many players can play that much football at a reasonably decent level. Like, you've got to remember... This is, is I think this is exactly the same team that Ingolo Kante came from. Now I'm not comparing Le Pen to and Kante at all, um, but you know it, it does show that one of the best midfielders in the world currently can come from this club, like the, this team. Then there's no reason why. And, and, and that it could happen to someone else in this team. And I, I do think he, he's definitely got high potential, but there are also things he, he does need to work on, like, um, because it, 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 he, he does pick up a lot of yellow cards. He's, he's one of his problems at the moment. And also, for someone who does play the number eight position, now, this isn't like a... A crucial thing because you, you do get number eight so you just don't, don't like uh, get that many goal contributions but um uh, he, he has very few goal contributions for say and this season but uh, th there are a lot of midfielders like that like N'Golo Kante himself doesn't get that many um, goals and assists but it is something that um, if he is to become a top player then he will need to add that into his game. But I, I, I think he is going to become a very good player from the little amount I have seen of him. Um, if I was comparing him to a current player, there's, there's a few. Um, Frankie de Jong and probably, probably Thiago, to be fair, in the way that he does drop deep and likes to spray passes out. Uh, the French media like to compare him to uh, Maxence Cacare for uh, Lyon. Uh, I can s sort of see it as well, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think he will become a very good player. 